Welcome back to Far Cry 5's arcade mode, the mode that can give you something really good, or the mode that can give you hot garbage. This journey still goes on. And so it begins. We gotta go and hide. And we gotta run. Hide and run from the dangers that lurk within. This display picture just tells me that we have to reach the helicopter in order to get out alive. Either that or you start off at the helicopter, which would be even more stupid since you could just get in the helicopter and fly straight to the end. But we will see. Do not get spotted. Oh yeah, really? What are you gonna do if you do get spotted? I mean, look, there's no real modifier penalty. So, we'll see what happens. Let's see, you begin in the house. I can break out of this house like that. And then I can run over here, down the forest lane. I'm just gonna keep on moving until I- wait, this map's not gonna be very long. Alright, well, that was the map, people. That was the map. All those enemies that were just positioned there, <laughs> all of the enemies looking in that direction and I just went around them. <laughs> <laughs> My advice on this map and how to improve it, it's way, way, way too short. Also, you have it set up for an open world. I'm afraid to go look around on the map because if I do, I may end up having to dish that down vote if it's just a flat land with copy-pasted trees and nothing else. Gotta get some more diversity in there, gotta put in some more effort. And the madness comes and consumes us all. The animals have come to unleash their power. Oh no, hatchlings. At least I think those were hatchlings when I was looking in at the loadouts. Hey, empty's not actually empty. That's bullshit. This is not real empty. This isn't empty at all. Okay, so where do they put the finish line? Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. Hello, blood dragon that just splashed me. Goodbye, I'm just gonna go. I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave with my non-empty loadout. I'm just gonna get out of here and- Oh, whoa, you have to go down this very carefully. So I was wrong, there's no hatchlings on the map, and if there is, I just was not looking at the proper area of the map. Oh look, you can actually see the edge of the map. It's that water in the distance. Oh shoot, I think I really legitimately am being chased by something, but I- because I just heard that roar. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I have made it to the end! I have made it out of the arena! I have escaped! I have no idea why this was set to journey. If you're gonna intend players to fight, then you probably should just set it to bounty or an assault. Mostly bounty though, because then you have a reason to actually attack the animals. But, as it stands right now, it's just... Why? Oh my goodness, the dangerous parkour map has popped up outside of a parkour games. Well, it seems like I'm gonna have to parkour to victory now. In the city! Isn't it sad to think that the very first map I've played so far is the best, considering how short it was? Don't run too much. You ain't got infinite statima. I beg to differ. I will definitely run, and oh, I'm stuck here. Wait, nope, here's the... Exit right here. Here's where you start. Huh. Wow, this does look like it's gonna be a long parkour game. Wee! Why you tell me I don't have evident statima? Oh, you gotta climb over this. All right, so the game's begun. It's basically become Mirror's Edge at this point. Mirror's Edge, rocking across buildings, jumping across buildings, going underneath. Whatever that was, and there's an invisible wall here. Oh, because you gotta go down. We're going down, people. Um, I might have gone too far down at this point. Uh-oh. Can I recover this? I think that I was supposed to jump all the way across over there. But I did not do so, so I may not be able to recover from this. Oh, uh, maybe I can get on this thing right here and then jump over to the the air conditioner. Come on. Oh yeah, it do, it totally is possible. No, don't, don't don't vault over it. Oh damn, I jumped too far. I got on the air conditioner at one point, man. 
There we go, I'm on the air conditioner. Yes, I climbed back up, okay. So there, the insane parkour trick, yes, I was right, you do have to stand on there and then jump all the way over. Across to the other side! And then you have to stand here and jump all the way to this side! And then this, you have to jump over here. Yeah, it definitely is like Mirror's Edge. Or Assassin's Creed. Or both. It's like fusing both together. It's more like Mirror's Edge, though. More than anything. But who knows, the way that those guys move around, the way that f the main character helps move around, they might actually be connected to the same story for all we know. Uh, where am I going from here? Am I just turning around? This is the only direction I found. Nope, this is not the proper way. Oh, it's like a maze now. I'm trying to figure out where I'm, which part of the maze I have to go on. Obviously, I am supposed to be here. I just don't know where I'm supposed to jump from. Wait a minute. I think I may have discovered it. That is an insane parkour move. And no, oh, oh, well, maybe not. Do they legitimately want me to jump on that? Vault all the way over to the this little piece right here. And then climb up the whatever that's on the side of the wall. I can't even get on top of this right here. So that cannot be the answer. Unless I have to jump on this one first. Oh my god. Talk about pixel perfect jumping here. The hell is this garbage? I can't even get on top of that right there, that item. Now you can't get on top of this. Even with your best jump, you still can't get up on well, what whatever this is. You can't get on the chimney. This map might actually be considered unwinnable now. Wait a minute. I think I may have found one more thing I could try. One more thing that I could try. Let's come over here and then fall down, hurt myself just to get down. I've gotten down, and now we can go all the way down to the city streets. Not necessarily parkouring anymore, I'm just going down the city streets. This probably is not the answer. That is definitely not the answer. I accused it of being unwinnable, so of course we gotta bring it to the editor to find out the truth. So you begin the game in a fenced off zone. And this is not the fenced off zone that I started in. You begin the game in this fenced off zone and they expect us to keep going all the way over here. And this is as far as we can get. Right here, this is as far as it gets. And it was, it's true. They actually legitimately wanted me to stand on this chimney right here, which you cannot do because you cannot get a jump high enough. And then they want you to parkour all the way over there. Which means, because they wanted you to do that, you can't, there's no other way to do it. Means this map definitely is unwinnable, and the creator is gonna be required to come in in here and fix this. Now let's look around these buildings one more time, just to be 100% certain. There's also a possibility that we might have to kill the dog, but I don't think that's gonna be the answer. I could also look around for triggers. Okay, let's do. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way. There's so much lag going on right now as I'm trying to get this map to work. And I'm trying to play this. And I'm trying to be in the editor and oh my god, did the whole thing just freeze. There's that much smoke that's being active. It has to do with there being too many smoke effects and on screen at once. Not necessarily being on screen, just active.
I would like to point out that I've been sitting here now for about two minutes and the thing is still loading the first navigation mesh. It's still loading because there's so many smoke effects that are on screen that is preventing the game from loading it up properly. It's actually faster for me to play the map instead of loading it up as an exhibition in the editor. Finally, I'm in the game. This is not the actual game. This is still the, the map editor. I'm just here to kill the dog because I don't want to bother looking for scripts. Although now that I've, I've waited so long, it might have actually been better for me to go and look for the scripts. And now, the, killing the dog does not teleport you, so did killing the dog activate anything else additional? Because, once again, you cannot jump on this little chimney. You cannot do so. The game doesn't let you. Even if you stand on this and do your best jump, you still cannot make this. And no, it doesn't look like it spawned anything additional. And... There, that was my best jump. And I still couldn't make up that. I still couldn't get up any of that. This map is fucking terrible. Because you can't finish. And it's breaking Ubisoft upload rules right now. Oh, you don't believe me that it's breaking the upload rules, do ya? Well, why don't you go and show me how to do that jump? Because I am not able to do so, and I'm sure that nobody else can either. We would very much like to know how you're supposed to win this map. Until then, that is where the map stands. Well, that's going to be all the time we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! I'm mad, I tell ye! I'm mad! That's right! We are in a war! We are in a battle! We must win this battle if we are to survive! We must win! Fight or die! That is what we must do! That is our mission! That's right, you Yeti Zombies! You don't know how to handle my business! No, Yeti Zombies! You must get away from me! DESTROY ALL THE NON-BELIEVERS! DESTROY THEM ALL! WRECK THEIR SHIT! WRECK THEIR SHIT! There's even zombies on the map too? Oh, that's fantastic! I'm just moving so that I don't get crushed by the apes! Oh, there's a waypoint here! This waypoint leads me to underneath the map! Oh my god! What a fantastic arena! I didn't find this last time during my actual game! Just more random fire that's here, and I do believe that this fire was actually put here on its own accord by the creator intentionally. Destroy them all! Destroy! Ow! Oh no, they're destroying me! Oh no, I'm on fire! Oh crap!